All right, this will be quick. Last night, I was able to go to a screening of 15 minutes of Guardians of the Galaxy, shown in IMAX 3D, and I just want to let you guys know what I thought. Initial impressions are, really, I got exactly what I came for. The thing feels fun, which is exactly what I want Guardians of the Galaxy to be. I want it to be just a rip-roaring good time. What we got was one pretty much continuous scene set with the main characters in a jail. I don't want to give too much more than that, just because I don't want to go into spoilers, not knowing how far into the film this uh, this thing actually is. But we see some interaction, we get some humor, we get some action, and all of it's looking pretty good. The action's fun and energetic, the characters are really interesting. I was surprised how front and center Rocket Raccoon is. He's, he's gonna steal this movie. People are gonna be coming out of the theater loving him more than anybody else. And actually, at least as far as this scene is concerned, he's being built up a bit like the leader of the group. I don't know if it'll actually pan out that way, but it'd be an interesting way to go if they do. The animation for the character, Bradley Cooper's voice, all of it just comes together. It's spot on. It's perfect. He's just this little ball of attitude. It's terrific. As for the other characters, Gamora works really well for me because in the performance, Zoe Saldana brings this sense of she wishes she had a higher quality of people to be hooking up and teaming up with, but she's going to work with what she's got. Chris Pratt as Peter Quill is bringing pretty much exactly what we saw the trailer. This sense of he's a bit of a smart ass and he's also just completely out of his depth. The fun thing is he pretty much knows that. He's got some buttons that get pushed a little bit in the scene but for the most part he's just trying to keep his head on his shoulders. I was surprised at how well Groot works. First of all the fact that the only line he ever says and will ever say in the entire course of the movie is I am Groot. You'd think well that's there's not going to be much to this thing. He's going to be an automaton. There's a surprising amount of personality in this creature. Both in the variations of the delivery of of that single line that we get from Vin Diesel in the voice work, but also he's not the fastest thing going on, he, but he does have a general sense of what's going on and he tries to be helpful and he gets angry. You know, there's enough there that he can get emotional in certain directions and it, it that comes across really well. And he's also just a straight up badass. You don't want to mess with this tree. Which brings us to David Batista as Drax. Now this is the one that seems like it might be a slight problem. Initially his performance was throwing me off in terms of his line delivery. It's hard to explain exactly what was off about his line delivery but then it's explained by Rocket Raccoon that he comes from a species that doesn't get metaphor. They take everything literally and what he actually says is metaphor just goes over his head and Drax then says nothing goes over my head my reflexes are too fast I would catch it and the minute he said that I'm like okay now I get what this guy's deal is and now I'm on board with the performance even though it got me to come around in terms of his performance, I'm still questioning his function within the team though. As I mentioned, Groot is a badass and a, you know can definitely throw down in a fight. Rocket can too, though he obviously he needs weapons whereas Groot is more of a brawler. Gamora is definitely very hands-on hands, more acrobatic, so that's a nice contrast to Groot. Drax just seems like another big force brute fighter and with Groot and Zaldana already in the mix filling out that that role, he seems he seems redundant. Now, hopefully in the bigger scope of the picture, he'll have more of a function, but in the scene that we got, you know, he was there and he was fine, but he didn't feel like he was bringing a lot to the proceedings that wasn't already covered by the other characters. But that's the only thing that I could say was any sort of point of concern for me. The humor was great, the performances were fun, the special effects are really good, the action was a lot of fun, the action scene was really well paced. It doesn't really raise my level of excitement for this movie, I was already pretty excited, but it reaffirms that, that excitement. As far as the IMAX and the 3D goes, they were fine, I'm not going to pay the extra money to see it in IMAX 3D, that's just how I got to see this preview section. But at the end of the day, it's the movie I care about, and the movie looks really fun. It looks like it could potentially be the most fun I have at the theater this year. That would be a stretch with some of the stuff I've gotten to see, but I will definitely be checking out when it comes out in theaters. Hope you will too. And when it does, maybe we can even talk about it. But until then, this council is adjourned.